Yo, what's up everybody? Shane here. Back for another. No Mario or Ryan today, just me. So kind of a throwback. We're gonna throw it back to when I just used to talk to myself once a week for like six months. But uh, we're gonna make do. But this had to be done. Um, I'm making this out this show just hours after we we made the announcement last night that we are from here on out done covering college softball. I've had enough, can't do it anymore. So this show is the official announcement. No more college softball around here. So I'll get into a little bit of why we're doing that and uh, the straw that broke the camel's back. But I just can't do it anymore, dude. I was uh, last night watching this Baylor Arizona game, just losing my mind. So l- let's give you a little background here. I've never been a huge softball guy. I respect it. It's it's like you know the baseball sister sport, but it's really not. And that that comparison is what makes everyone, I think, not like softball at least. Uh, and I can speak on this stuff, all right, because I see one hundred twenty thousand people. Uh, talking about this shit every single year, talking about baseball and softball. Yeah, we've got mostly dudes following, but plenty of chicks. And I think I get a pretty good sample size of takes and opinions here. So I feel like I'm able to speak on this stuff, but totally different sports. And it was probably a couple years ago, I was like, all right, you know, I think the World Series, Women's College World Series was on. So I'm like, all right, it'd be cool if we did some softball shit, right? Like, I enjoy a good competition. I don't really care what sport it is. And it was on TV, and I'm like, and it's like, you know, it's it's a week or two weeks before the Omaha Baseball World Series is on. And it's kind of dry. MLB is in that, like, dry period where nobody gives a fuck. It's, like, too too early in the season, but too late in the season that you're not like, oh, baseball's back. You know what I'm saying? So kind of a dry period. So I'm like, hey, let's do some, let's do some softball. Let me watch this. Let me let me start live tweeting some softball, seeing how this goes. And uh, not to sound like I'm the mother Teresa of Twitter or anything, but like, there's always been this attitude of, hey, let's let's push softball. Let's make softball popular. Let's get more than five NPF teams uh, in America. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. Whatever. We, we can do that. So we start covering some softball. And every single year, we just get ripped online for one by the dudes who just don't want to, don't follow us for any softball content. And I get it. So they're ticked that we're even talking about softball. And all the chicks that don't like the way we talk softball every single year, every World Series. And I've been meaning to like <laughs> make like a prediction video on this before because we're in like the end of the Super Regional. So uh, Oklahoma City. Women's College World Series starts on Thursday or Friday. So, and it's the same shit every single year. I can tell you what's going to happen. I can tell you how it's going to go. I can tell you the kind of tweets I'm going to get. I'm going to be live tweeting some game. And uh, I'm going to say some shit like, oh, that's got to be caught or something. Or, oh, this girl's soft. She had to sit because her arm was tired. And it's game two of the World Series. I'm going to say some shit like that. And then 15 verified fucking hall of famer softball players are going to jump down my throat on twitter and it's the dumbest thing of all. you can't you can't tweet the same way about both sports you can you can't talk about softball the way you talk about baseball you just can't it just doesn't get received so i'm at the point where i'm like you know what fuck it then i'm not i'm not i'm <laughs> done with softball now this is like and what happened last night if you saw the periscope or the video or the snapchats or whatever you know but this is like that was just the straw that broke the camel's back. And we were getting ready for that straw this year. Because that's how it is every year. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it then. Grow, talk about your own sport. There's not a, a damn person on Twitter that talks about college softball regionals or super regionals. There's just not. There's nobody. So go ahead. Talk about your own fucking sport. Have five pro softball teams. Have like three of them in the United States. And do your thing then if you don't want to... Uh, us to give our take on softball so and listen like if you're just tuning in and you don't you haven't followed our stuff for the last couple years i might sound like a dick for saying that but you just have to understand how we do things here and how it gets received and the kind of shit that we get i'm talking like this would be the equivalent of barry bonds a rod and griffey tweeting at me ripping me for something i said about a baseball game like uh, i'm not a huge softball historian but like i can see these 
ex softball players with five billion followers and check marks out the ass just coming at me jumping down my throat i'm like it's it's stupid it's not worth it what why the fuck am i doing this anyway why why would i do this i don't love this shit there's plenty of baseball to be talking about but i enjoy softball i do i don't mean to make it sound like i'm doing this as a charity i don't know everything about softball and i i 100 percent come into this softball shit so humbly like i understand there's not a lot I, I shouldn't say it's not a lot there's there's i understand that i don't know everything there is to know about the sport i understand that they're different you can't a lot of the hate from softball comes from like baseball guys watching a softball game and it's just so different they expect it to be the same sport and it's just not so you see a lot of things that you would never see on a baseball field and you're like oh that's stupid well yeah i mean you can think that it's stupid but that's just how the game is so let's not bitch about the size of the field or the size of the bases or like let's just not bitch about the rules and that shit because it is what it is and it's not i don't know i'm just way past that so i'm not like one of those when i sit here and say softball's dumb to me now and i'm not we're not doing it anymore it's not out of that typical oh the fences are too small or you know shit like that this is out of like i'm fucking done getting all that kind of shit and uh and last night so let's get into last night last night was a straw that broke uh this camel's back so this is why we're done indefinitely suspending all softball coverage i don't know this might last it might not last i don't know i'll probably watch the games not gonna tweet it it's not worth it stupid um so last night was one of the most absurd rules i had ever seen so and i don't remember all the details here early in the game it's a first inning uh that chick from uh arizona who's got like 500 million home runs she's like three shy of the all-time record lauren chamberlain's all-time record uh it's a ton of home runs and the chick rakes and drops bombs so it's the first inning uh katiana mauga mauga i don't know how you say it but it's something like that she comes up to the plate. it's like one two outs in the first inning base is empty she gets intentionally walked so she's getting the barry bonds treatment i'm like oh shit and i i don't I had, I had heard this girl's name before. I'd seen, you know, some vids on Twitter and shit, but I'm like, whoa, she's getting the Barry Bonds treatment. I got to go check this girl out. So look at her numbers. Yeah, she's dropping a lot of bombs. Uh, so gets walked with the bases empty. And uh, that wasn't the weirdest part, believe it or not. The weird part was the pitcher threw, the, the uh, Baylor pitcher threw a pitch and the catcher immediately threw it to first base. Reminder, the bases are empty. So then time gets called. I'm like, why'd she just throw it to first base? Is she, is, is she clueless? Time gets called. The umpire is talking with the, the Baylor coach or whatever. And I, long story short, a ton of shit happened. And they're talking about stuff on TV. I can't follow it. And two balls go on the board. So apparently, you, if the catcher throws the ball with the bases empty anywhere but the pitcher, it's a delay of game um, and a ball goes on the board. So which is this is wild for two reasons. One, that's a fucking wild rule. Why, why does that exist? It, any if you see a rule in the, and i looked it up in the rule book like it's it's clearly there it's called delay of game so if <laughs> if it's in the rule book that means at some point there was a situation where they had to put that rule in to prevent some team from doing whatever they were doing because it was delaying the game so at some point in history there was a team that with nobody with like with nobody on base they would just choose to throw the ball around the horn or just like throw the ball to third before returning it to the pitcher, not after a strikeout. That's just a wild move, and I, I never, I was wasn't able to uh, track down why that exists, and uh, nobody could. But um, not a big deal. But just a super weird rule. But the weirdest part about it was that so they decided to throw to first base to get the extra ball to save the pitcher's arm. They kept saying like save, you know, what's your name from throwing an extra pitch, and I'm like. Um, these chicks throw like 250 pitches a weekend, or like 300 or some shit. I remember last year was wild uh, when I was looking at pitch counts, like over a week span or something. So you wanted to save her arm from throwing a ball 40 miles an hour to the other batter's box by throwing it to first. Just a wild move, but whatever, dude. If you want to do it, it's whatever. So that had me. Uh, so that's that, that's how this game was gonna go for me. I just super confusion. So now let's flash back to the real issue. This is the one where I'm absolutely. Th this is the reason I'm done. And uh, I got pretty heated last night, which is wild. A lot of people pointed it out. Like, why is softball getting you so heated? And I'm like, that's a good question. 
And uh, for everything I just mentioned, like the last 10 minutes, that's probably why it's getting me heated. So f- seventh inning. Now we got to get the situation down because this is important. So <laughs> write this down. If you're in the car, uh, make sure you jot this down in your head. So it's top of the seventh inning. Arizona's up two runs. This is game three of the Super Regionals, Baylor and Arizona. So the winner is going to Oklahoma City in the World Series. Top of the seventh. Uh, they're up two runs. There's a runner on second base, and there's nobody out. And Arizona chooses to issue an intentional walk to the batter at the plate. And this is the point where my head just went to scrambled eggs. I'm like, wait, did they just walk the tying? Did they just put the tying run on base? And uh, so I'm sitting there waiting for like an explanation as this intentional walk is being issued here. And uh, I'm not getting one. And I'm like, okay, time out. This has got to be a weird, there's something I'm missing here. So, so that's, like I said, I understand there's a lot I don't understand about the game and the strategy here. So my first instinct is like, all right, hold up. Let me ask Twitter or let me ask somebody. Let me, let me listen in to see the, hear the explanation on what the fuck just happened. And uh, so I go to Twitter and I'm not getting one. I'm not getting an explanation. So I'm listening in to the commentators and I think they were like, I don't, and I don't know their names, forgive me. Um, they're like, so what do you, how do you feel about them? Uh, you know, putting what's your name on? And they're like, yeah, I, I can understand the move. And I'm like, wait a minute. You, they just intentionally walked. I, I, so the chick was a good hitter. I don't remember her name again. I didn't write this shit down and I'm not, I'm not looking it up. It's just, she was a good hitter, but you're up two runs in the top of the seventh inning. It's a seven inning game. If you're not familiar with softball, it's a seven inning game. And they walked and put the tying run on first base. So I'm like, this is a fucking wild move, but maybe this will blow over. Maybe they'll get out of this inning. They'll win the game. And uh, we won't have to talk about this again. But uh, I'm going to be honest with you. There was like a little, the devil on my shoulder was like, dude, I hope some shit goes down here. So then we can figure this out. Sure enough, next batter comes up. Um, hits an absolute missile over the batter's eye in center field. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Now Baylor's up, uh, up, up a run. They're just three-run home run. Game's no longer tied. Uh, game's not tied because they walked the tying run on first base. And three-run home run, and Arizona loses the game. So I'm like, and I'm sitting here. Now, that's, that's just a crazy fucking move. And another reason why I, I didn't jump to conclusions right away is because Arizona's coach, uh, Kandria, I think his name is, is supposed to be like the greatest softball coach of all time. This dude coaches Team USA. They were talking about how uh, the Arizona program has taken a hit because he's spending too much time with Team USA and all this shit. And they rattled off his wins. Guy's got like 5 million wins. So, and I, I know, like I've seen the guy around. I, I know who he is. So I'm like, there's no way this dude just, pulled that move without an explanation so so of course i go to twitter and i'm getting nothing again so i'm i'm just and (laughs) calm down we need to take a sip of water here come out this is riling me up not because it was a dumb move but because how come i'm the only person on the face of the earth right now on twitter and trust me i looked i looked i'm the only person on the face of the twitter world Who's call, who's asking questions about why the tying run was just put on base? And I've got, you know, a couple of these softball players on Twitter, you know, God bless their souls. I think a lot of them are like 16 or something. And they're like, well, they wanted to walk the girl and, uh, you know, set up a double play. I'm like, whoa, 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 no. See, that doesn't, you have to understand the full situation here. Runner on second, they're up two runs. Okay, they're not up one run. There's no, that runner on second shouldn't fucking exist. It's the last inning of the game. That runner means absolutely fucking nothing. There is no trying to set up a double play. That's 100% not, 100% not appropriate to this situation. There's there's no way. I give that a 1% chance that that's what was running through his mind. I, I don't, I mean, I guess I can't speak to what was running through anybody's mind last night because I couldn't get any answers on to what was running through anybody's mind last night. And, uh... None of it made any sense, but that's 100% not what the fuck happened. Not They were not setting up double... What are you setting up double play for? You don't need to force out the girl at second. You're up two runs. Let her let her score. Let her score. Call timeout and say, hey, just get off the bases. Come score. It's a seventh inning. All you need to do is they score one run or zero runs, and you win the game. You're going to Oklahoma City. That's it. So it just made no sense. So I'm getting no fucking answers, and, and I'm just like... It's just so annoying to me. Why, why is that? This is not okay. 
Uh, I wish you guys could just see my mentions every time, every this year, every time, because I get the same shit again. Everyone's like, oh, you, you know, just you bitching at me for bitching about the game. And I'm like, why can't I bitch about this game? And I got no fucking answers. And I'm just sick of it. That was the last straw. I'm like, this is a dumb fucking I'm not going to say it's a dumb sport, but it's a it's a dumb media business around softball. It makes it unwatchable. For so many reasons. Like I said, this is just the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, there were a thousand other straws every other year when a, a shortstop takes a ball through her, her legs, you know, just gets five hold. Plain as day. And I got to hear the com- the commentators talk about how hard that ball was hit and what. A- I'm like, dude, give me a fucking break. Like, here's the problem. They're just doing their job. And apparently that is their job because that's what everyone does. But it's just, it's not conducive to me. And, like, people, it's conducive to, like, everyone's families. Like, if the players and coaches' families are watching the game and, like, people who just aren't really sports people are watching the game, it's probably a great view. But for, like, me and you guys that are probably listening to this and everyone on Twitter, it's it's so shitty. It's 0% fun. So I'm fucking, we're done with softball, uh, which is funny because today I published a, uh, we, we threw up a post about uh, Texas A&M's Keeley Milligan who took a pitch off the face <laughs> at the Tennessee Super Regional, like like a slap hitter. So she's run up in the box and just pitch off the face. And you can't really tell if it got her clean face. Looked like it got a little bit of helmet. But this chick, so she goes down to the ground, jumps up, puts her helmet back on, starts just like clapping, getting all fired up, looking back to the dugout. And she's like, let's fucking go. So I'm like, that, see, that's electric TV. That type of competitiveness is fucking electric. I don't care what sport you're watching. That's the shit I'll turn, tune into. But that's not what you get. You don't get Keely Milligan's. You get you get walking the tying run, you putting the tying run on base and losing the game, losing <laughs> uh, losing the rubber match to go to Oklahoma City in the World Series. And there's not a person on the fucking face of the softball, baseball, Twitter, earth who's saying anything. And it just makes no sense to me. And I'm sick of it. I try to understand it. It's been five years we've been doing this. It's so dumb. And, uh, you know, a couple people on Twitter last night, I, and I give them credit for this. We had some good conversations. We're like, come on, dude. Uh, you know, you're doing, like, we, we need softball coverage. And I'm like, fuck that, dude. I need answers. That's what I need. So, and I, I know I didn't see a press conference yesterday after the game. I guess they don't do those or they just don't televise them or they're not tweeted out or online. But I need to hear this Kendra dude's explanation as to how you put the... I don't care. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear a single stat from the girl that was at the plate. I don't care if the fucking Sultan of SWAT reincarnated, came out to the plate, switched his gender to a female and started walking up to the plate and pointed and called his shot. If he's a tying run, you don't put the fucking tying run on base. And also don't give me this setup of double play shit when you're up two runs and the runner on second means not a goddamn thing. So from here on out, I think we're done. Unless I start seeing some more Keely Milligan shit that just gets me fired up sitting on the couch watching, I'm done. I might watch the games, but... I don't know if you're going to see much more uh, of this stuff. So it's been a good run, everybody. Um, I was going to say might lose all of our softball following, but I don't think that exists. Like, I don't think there's too many people that solely follow us for uh, the softball content. And again, dude, I tried this. I tried for five fucking years. Humble as shit. Like, I, let's learn this game. Let's figure this out. But I can't do it. I can't watch that. I can't watch it. I can't listen to the to the game. I can't I can't get bitched at on Twitter every single World Series. Not that I give a fuck about you, bit like I get that shit every day. I don't don't get off your high horse. Like you don't ruin my fucking day with your you know when your softball Hall of Fame friends are you know tweeting me telling me to be nice. Like fuck fuck off. That doesn't bother me. But it's just like this is dumb. I'm not gonna do it. I'm the only person tweeting about this shit with any sort of sizable following. It, it like dead ass there's ton of people that follow me that don't give a fuck about softball but they'll see us tweeting and posting about the stuff this time of year and they'll tune in they will because i think we make it fun we make it try to make it a little less fucking dry for the uh co- you know for someone who's trying to watch competitive sport so that's it we're done uh i love your feedback let me know what you think and uh on to omaha